Hello, today I'm starting a new thing on my shell. Maybe I not really know. I have done a video that was called five palettes I wanted what but never use and my idea was to use these palettes more and I will do three looks one palette with these palettes I hope I'm not really sure because I don't know if this is my thing or not but I have started with the modern renaissance and I have made three looks one palette with this one and this is look number three the palette looks like this if you have missed it I don't know if any makeup interested person have missed how this look so if you want to see three different looks with a modern renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills you can just keep up watching I can leave timestamps for look number one look number two look number three and when I talk a fast little talking about the palette when I'm done with all the free looks so I really hope you will enjoy this video and uh, be nice it's my first free palettes one look so yeah we just hop into the tutorials and the three different looks okay so my first look for the modern renaissance by anastasia bevel hills is the look that i was thinking about or i wanted to do maybe a little more boring look but the colors i really really wanted when i bought this palette was the orange shade so this burnt orange this is in the soft glam I think as well and Relgar 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 I also want to use this today and maybe red ochre so this first look will maybe be a little bit more boring than I usually do this will be a neutral look as I think I don't want to take any of the pink colors today because I am saving that for the next look. So I will take maybe raw sienna, burnt orange, realgar and maybe red ochre. And maybe highlight with primavera or vermeer. I will see how I will do uh, but I will start with an eyeshadow base. Eyeshadow primer I mean. I will start with burnt orange and I will put this in my crease. The soft glam and the modern renaissance they are more... it's a different formula from the prism and subculture. Subculture and prism they are pretty much the same. They are a little bit drier but I really like them and they are so easy to work with. Soft glam and uh, modern renaissance they are a little bit more creamy i don't know how the novena palette is because i am not going to buy that one because that is not my kind of colors at all okay so this is the burnt orange and i really really love this color i think it's a super nice color and this that this is one of my favorite colors from the soft glam Okay, and then I think I will take red ochre and put it on my outer corner. And this color is a really nice color as well. And it's super easy to work with. And if you hear anything, it's my boyfriend. That is disturbing me when I'm filming. I don't know what's up with my makeup skills right now, but they are not on point. Because what am I doing here? What is this even? Even Steven. And this is a typical color for me that I really, really like. I like the orange and the red spectrum of colors and this palette and this color is like for for full fulfilling my dreams right now so this is the red ochre and I think it looks pretty good maybe a little bit more boring than I usually do 
but I think we can survive. Now I will take real gar and put it on my the inner part of my eye. Okay, this was a little bit darker than I expected it to be. It was, but I think it is okay. And they blend so well together, this real, real gar. Is it really the name? I can write it down here. And the red ochre. Okay, so the lids are finished and I usually do a lot of colors and stuff like that. But I think with this one I want to do like a normal neutral look because everybody don't love color and I don't wear colors all the time. Sometimes I do like this and I wanted to do one more normal look, one more neutral orange look brownish orange red or what this is so yeah uh, i will fix my base and then i come back and we do something underneath the eyes but i think i will keep it a little bit toned down and don't take any crazy color and i also think we will put something on my inner corner so i will fix my base and then i come back so for my lower lash line i think i will take the exact same so I will take red ochre or maybe I just no I think I will just take real gar underneath my eyes on my lower lash and I have bought a new brush from Colourpop E10 and yes, I have bought more things than just a brush from Colourpop. This is not my <laughs> thing that I am best of putting eyeshadow on my lower lash. I think everybody looks so good when they have it. I think I just look uh, not good. But the <laughs> look doesn't look good without it. So, So for my inner corners... I will take this Vermeer, it is a little bit more to the pink side, it's a shiny one and I will put this in my inner corner and then I will put on some mascara and for the lips I will take one Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick and this is in Kiss. This is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. So this is the first look with Anastasia Modern Renaissance. And this is maybe like a little bit more boring look than I usually do. And maybe a little bit more boring than you like. But I wanted to do a pretty neutral look with this. This is neutral for me. I don't know how it is for you. Um... Just to see how much difference, different looks you can do with this. So for this first look for this palette I used the Burnt Orange, Red Ochre, Real Gar and Vermeer. And yeah, I'm happy how it turned out. Uh, when I'm doing neutral looks I like to do this. And what is she doing? My cat's here and she's... Starting a fight with the davet or the pillows, I don't know. So this is the first look with my modern renaissance from modern renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Time for the second look with my modern renaissance from Anastasia. And oh my hair is big as fudge. And today I'm doing a pink look with uh, a little cut crease, not a whole cut crease, but a little glare and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing and I am... I think I know what I want to do. I am 
like 97% sure. So I will start with an eyeshadow base as usual. So for my crease I will use this this one Bueno Fresco and it's a cold shadow. It's like maybe a dirty purple. Like a vintage pink but a purple. If that does make any sense. So I am putting this in my crease. And I want to take this pretty high up. So when the crease color is on, I want to take this love letter. Did I poke some shadow? No, I didn't. This love letter and put it on my outer corner. I have already fixed my base, so I hope that this does not fall and ruin my base. I will tap off the brush. This goes very good with the crease color. Okay, I feel that this... I will take a little more of the Buen Bon Fresco and smudging it out here in the outer corner in the crease so it doesn't get such a hard edge. Okay, so now on my inner part of my eye, I want to take this Vermeer and put it on my inner part of my eye, as I just said. I don't have to say it twice. And I am going to use some glitter glue because I really want it to be much and be really, really shiny. And I think I want to take a little bit more of this love letter. And I am using the one from NYX. This is the only glitter. I have, okay, I have tried the Inglot Duraline. It works like a glitter glue, but I don't like that. This is more like a primer, like a normal eyeshadow primer, and it's really easy to work with. So I'm going to apply this in here and then we put on the Vermeer shade. Okay, now I am a little bit closer so I will see what I'm doing. So I take the glitter glow from NYX on a small, small brush and apply it where I want the Primavera to go. No, the Vermeer I meant. I do one eye at a time because I don't want to mess this up and then I take the Vermeer on pretty small brush and just stamp it on and I don't know if this brush was any good to do this with as you see now it's a very harsh line so I will take the brush that I put on the love letter with and I will take some of the Vermeer on this and try to blend the edges out a little bit and I will also take some of love letter and blend it together this is not my Something I am so good at doing this cut creases and stuff. I really like them, but I'm not that good at it, so... I think the hardest part is I don't want any of the shadows to be like too too little of anyone I want much of them both but something like this 
and I will also do the other eye. So both eyes are done or both lids are done and it maybe isn't that you call I think this eye turned out better than this eye but I am pleased with it and I am going to fix my under eyes and I will take the same color so I will take love leather love letter and vermeer and do almost the same amount okay it went like shit on this eye I don't know if you can see it I have to see if I can fix this in some way I still look like a sad little raccoon or something so I think we just have to live with this because yes okay I will put on some mascara so this is the look without any mascara and I don't feel like any look is complete without mascara because it seems like I have no eyelashes so I come back with mascara on and the mascara and the lips are on and I always think it's so hard to choose a good lipstick um, I took O Snap that is a lipstick from Colourpop I think it works okay I'm not good at matching my lips with my eyeshadows except when I do like red lip and orange eyes so I hope this is somewhat okay. So this was the second look with the modern renaissance from Anastasia. There will be one more look. Okay, so now it's time for the third look with my modern renaissance palette. So today I'm thinking about doing a matte halo eye. I don't know if it's even called a halo eye then. So I think I will take warm taupe in my crease, then cypress umber and tempera. Uh, I don't know if this even will work. I maybe take this raw sienna as well. We will see but I will start with an eyeshadow base and yes I already have my eyebrows on. So okay I wanted to do like a matte ha halo eye with my third look with this palette. I don't even know if you can do a matte halo eye. I don't know if it is a halo eye then. I have no idea. And what do you think about my little friend up here? It hurts like hell. When I do this, it hurts. So, yeah. Okay, I am going to start with warm taupe in my crease. And I will take a big fluffy brush for this. And I don't know if this maybe was a little bit darker than I expected it to be. Okay, so <laughs> something like this. I look like I haven't slept for like the couple, two couple, last couple of weeks. <laughs> Okay, I have changed my mind. I will take this antique bronze. It got a little bit of shimmer to it. And I will take this on my outer corner and also in my inner corner. So I take a fluffy brush, tap it off. The thing I like with this palette is it doesn't have any black shade because I think the most like palettes that are going to suit everybody almost every time has black and I don't think you need a black shadow in all the palettes you have okay and then I will take this on my inner corner as well and I am not <laughs> that good at halo eyes I always go go too far in with my outer corner okay maybe this worked I will try to take tempera this matte the lightest shade in this palette but I think it got a little of shimmer to it I don't know and put this in the middle okay I don't think this will be 
a good combo. Mm, no. Okay, I don't know. Either Primavera or Vermeer. Because I don't think this matte... It just looks like I don't have any shadow in the middle. Okay, I will take... What do we want? Warm or cold? I will take the Primavera and I will try to take it without any glitter glue. This first. Let's see if I can put it over. No, I have to use some glitter glue. I think it would have worked if I didn't put the shadow first. So I take a little bit of clear glue and then I take the Primavera I think I have to go in with the dark shade Cypress Umber again Oh that's the wrong shade. Okay, the antique bronze, the shade that I'm using, not cypress umber. Okay. And the cypress umber was too dark. How can I forget which shade I'm using? And you see my fallout now? That's when I realized I took the wrong shade. Okay. I think we have to chase this look then. I had like two shades to remember. And I forget one of them. Okay, I don't know how those look. Maybe it looks good. Okay, so I have to take a little of the cypress umber because it's dark and that down so I have to do the same on this one and then take antique bronze I haven't put on any glitter glue on that side oh my god I don't know what's wrong with me I'm like not even in the same step with the eyes. Okay, so this is the eyelids and I, I don't really know what I think, if I'm going to be honest. I'm not that into brown brown, if that's make any sense. I think I will go over a little bit with warm taupe with this big crease brush and just soft it a little bit because I think I took this too far up okay I think this will do so I will take out or take off the fallouts put on my base and then I will be back with I think I'll do the same thing underneath my eyes or if I will use a completely different color Yeah, we will see. I will fix this fallout, I will fix my face, and then I will come back. So, I am back with my face and something in my ear. And I will do my under eyes, and I think I will take the... I don't know if I will take the some cypress umber or the antique bronze. Okay, I will... I will think. Okay, I have to decide. Okay, this. Uh, okay, I will take the antique bronze and also the primavera underneath my eyes and do the same as I have on my eyelid. And as you know, if you have been here for a little while, I hate to do shadow underneath my eyes because I never think it looks good on me. I think I always look like a sad little raccoon. And <laughs> on my waterline I will take a pen from Linda Holberg and it's the Levy Flash. 
I don't know which kit this is from. But you can buy all of her pens as singles. Okay, I don't know how this turned out. I don't I think it's it doesn't suit my eyes to have such a dark color underneath my eyes. Because I think it'll look like when I was 14. That's how I think I look, so mm, I don't really know. But I will put on some mascara and lipstick and then I will be back. Okay, so this is the finished look and I don't really know what I think because as I said, I don't think I look good with shadows all around my eye. I think it makes my eye small and I look... it doesn't look good. I don't know. I like more light colors underneath my eyes. But this is the look and I maybe turn out better than <laughs> I thought in the beginning. And the lipstick is from Linda Holberg. It's the Emmatrine. Emmatrine? Emmatrine? Emmatrine. So this is look number three with my modern renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I... These shadows are so easy to work with. It's a really good palette. It's really easy to work with. All the colors work perfectly. They are creamy. They are blendable. They are buildable. They work good together. Even if you work with light and dark colors together. Or the shimmers together. So this is a really good palette. I don't know if it really is for me. Because like this looks. I don't usually do this. I don't think this suits me so good, so it is a really good palette, but I don't know if it's for me. I shouldn't... First I didn't want this, but then I bought it, and I don't know if it was a good decision or not. But I have it, I like it, but I still don't love it. So this was my first free looks one palette. I don't know if you want more of these, I don't know if I am that creative, if I have the time to do free looks, but I think I will do free looks one palette with the palettes I talked about in my five palettes I wanted, bought, but never used. I can leave that up here. So I think I will do that with free looks one palette. Oh, oh my god. I'm just babbling and I don't know where I will come. <laughs> I think I will de do free looks one palette with these palettes at least. Um, so I really hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!